Hey guys, so we just finished up watching the announcement of 17.5. Um, obviously a super impressive performance by those two ladies. We're talking about the defending fittest woman on earth and somebody who is in the running to win the entire Open, being the fittest in the Open in the entire world. So um, very impressive to watch them. Now it's time for us to assess how we're going to attack this since we are not them. Uh, some quick tips, we're just going to go through three. Uh, this workout is obviously for time, so you're trying to get the work done as fast as you can. The skill movement is the double unders for sure, so it's going to be managing that, uh, the 35 reps there, and trying to go unbroken on those sets, and then managing your pace on the thrusters and your transitions. So big thing, all the open workouts, lots of hype, there's lots of hype in the gym, uh, a lot of people cheering you on as you're going through the workout. It's easy to get overexcited at the start of the workout and forget about your breathing patterns and how you're breathing through the work. So establish a breathing pattern for your thrusters and your double unders and stick to that as best you can the entire time. Sometimes if we get super excited, we hold our breath for the first nine thrusters and we put ourselves behind the eight ball before we even get into the actual workout. So make sure that you're focusing on that immediately and controlling your breathing throughout. One thing that we noticed they did a really, really good job of is controlling their barbell after each set of thrusters and placing the rope nicely on the ground after each set of double unders. They didn't just finish their ninth thruster and free fall drop it overhead and let it bounce wherever it wanted to go. They either controlled it to the floor or they let it bounce and then pushed it down with their hands uh, so that the bar wasn't bouncing away from them. Same thing with the rope, they finished the last double under, they stopped the rope and then they lied it down nicely so they could take steps back to the rope and then get right into their double unders. One thing we may want to experiment with is just facing uh, parallel to your barbell to do the double unders instead of having to back all the way up and do them completely perpendicular to your barbell. It just will save you a little bit of time having to back up and reach for your rope behind you. You're just gonna turn, grab it, go, and then you can turn back to your barbell. So some things to play around with there. Three is knowing yourself. So if nine thrusters at 95 pounds or 65 pounds for the ladies is going to be a stretch for you, breaking them up immediately is going to be a really good game plan for you to be successful in completing our 10 rounds before the 40 minute time cap. Um, if Say you're doing a set of 100 thrusters, if you, if you were to split those reps into say 10s, you're probably going to be okay uh, doing the 9s unbroken and just taking the transition time as a quick little breather. Um, if you were looking at 100 thrusters and you think 5s is a better idea, then maybe starting 5 and 4 would be a better plan for you right off the bat. So as always, talk to your coach. Um, our coaches obviously know you guys really, really well, and they can help direct you in a way that is going to allow you to be successful in completing this workout in the fastest time that you can. Remember, hot, starting off hot and finishing the first round as fast as you possibly can means absolutely nothing in a 10-round workout. It's how you're able to maintain split times and then hopefully increase and increase your pace to the end. So again, questions, ask your coach. We've got the video here for you guys just to run through quick tips. Um, have fun with it, it's the last week guys. You guys worked really, really hard to get to this point. You've been really consistent in your training and in your effort throughout the Open. So congratulations on that already. This is just the final week, let's get it done.